Hello there guys, welcome back to episode 3 of our Blackpool gameplay. Uh, didn't leave it too well. I haven't, actually haven't played this for a while, even though I've recently um, uploaded the videos. Uh, we're top of the league, which isn't too bad. Peterborough have a game in hand, Reading have a game in hand, which means they could both overtake us. Um, but in reality, we're looking okay. The players that we've brought in are doing a good job. Mike Duff, Demadera, uh, the usual guys, Strachan in on loan as well. Uh, we play Chesterfield next away, so I'm kind of hoping that we can... Get, I want to. I, I do. I want to be advent. I want to try and get a win. I want to try and be positive about this. I think. Let me just check the tactics. I think what I've done is I've tried to play a lone striker in Tomadera. I find that he works better as a lone striker rather than with someone else up front with him. I don't know why. Uh, let me just have a little look here and just check if that is actually happening. Oh no! So we've actually got Fenton, him and Fenton up front. I might now. It really depends. Uh, mm, Phil Clarkson. Did I put him up for? Transfer? I didn't, did I? Let me just have a look. Do I play him? He's a bench player at the minute. Um, <clears throat> do you know what? For how much money do we actually have? 150k. I suppose it will do the finances okay. Let me try and go to 150. Let's let's just try and <clears throat> let's try and think um, carefully about this. But I might have a little mix around of the formation as we go on and see if uh, Tomadera can do better up front on his own. Especially because it's an away game at Chesterfield as well. Um, so my thinking is, I might put McKenzie. I might put McKenzie there. We should see all my odds on the bench as well. So if I... if I, Is Bullock better, do you think? Yeah, Bullock could probably do a little bit better. So I'm going to put him there. And then I'm going to see how that sort of goes. Let me just check that I've got everyone that I need in here. Reed Hughes, Duff, Strachan. It was my other defensive mid that I was playing. Oh, Kane, wasn't it? Yeah, but yeah, we'll leave him for now. Okay, let's have a go. <clears throat> let's see if this does anything. Oh, there we go. 1-0 already. I think what I found with him is he does play much better up front alone. Yeah, he's already scored. The The problem that you've got, though, is no matter what team you start off with, there's always going to be maybe two good strikers at your club, and it's just about keeping them happy now. Because obviously with Madeira aiming to go up front on his own, it's going to cause issues, isn't it? I'm thinking away from home as well. Just to play one up front might be the way forward. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, not a bad half. Um, did I see... I thought I saw Daddy Kadamachi then for a minute. Who am I thinking of? Oh, I don't know who it is. Either way, it's two all. Bastards. Come on, get a goal. I need to flip this round. Come on. Uh, okay. I, I, yeah, do you know what? I'll take a draw. Let's take a draw for that. Swindon, three days. I forgot that we were actually playing them in three days. So that's going to be a bit of an issue in terms of uh, fitness at the moment. <clears throat> but we'll we'll see how we go. Oh, they have. They paid 150 for him. To be, do you know what? He's 32. To be fair, to be fair he's on 2,400 grand a week. That might actually be quite a good idea to get rid of him. It could actually pave the way for me to try and get someone else here. Have I brought a keeper in? No, I haven't. He's 300 grand, he's too much. Did Hugo... Hugo went somewhere else, which I couldn't believe. <clears throat> I was shocked that he went somewhere else. Yeah. Right, let's leave him at the minute. <clears throat> I can't stop coughing today. Okay. Oh, he rejects it. That's a bit of a shock. Fair play to his loyalty, though. Playing corn. See, see, he thinks it's a stepping stone. Which, to be fair, I think he's right. I think it is a stepping stone. Right, Neil McKenzie. Let's get Richardson on in that position. Oh, 
all the others I'm leaving. Come on, let's just <clears throat> let's just win these home games. This is so important. Nothing worse than getting your hopes up and it being disallowed. Uh, there we go. Bullock with the goal. I actually don't know where Swindon are in the league. <coughs> Oh, they're near the bottom, to be fair. 6,000. I kind of expect a little bit more than that. QPR away, QPR in the playoff positions. Yeah, I think, I think we're fine. I think I might start to think about taking a few off here. <coughs> you see, it is, it is people like Richie Wellens. <clears throat> my Christ, what's wrong with my throat? I want to take Tomadir off as well. Let's give Ormerod a bit of a run out, because to be fair, Ormerod is a class player. And he's a legend. <laughs> it's not bad, though. It's where we want to be. Okay, Swindon. I'm not surprised it pleases you. <clears throat> I really want to keep him, but I just worry that... To be fair, they're only 17th in the championship. 22nd, QPR. Let's see how we get on here. The thing is, we're scoring goals. We've scored, you can see there, the amount of goals that we've scored are just is unreal. We just need to tighten up the defence. And I don't know who to bring in for that. Here we go. Oh. Okay. I think I transfer this to them anyway. So two hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah. His contract's up in O two. Why not? Yeah, that's fine. So where where are Port Vale? Oh, they're in our league. McPhee, legend. Good player, McPhee. <clears throat> Good old nanny. Okay, there we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, QPR away. This is this is quite a big game. Oh, Strachan's out. That means O'Kane is coming in. Richardson's knackered. Mackenzie can come in though, that's fine. That works out okay. Um, there's quite a few players here that I can sort of see not renewing contracts. And to be fair, there's a few that I actually don't want to renew. Like Simpson's 35. There's no point in him another contract. It'd be 36. It's just, it's, it seems pointless. I may as well see if I can find someone else to come in at that point next season. But in terms, it's really difficult because you're always trying to plan for the next season. You, you kind of forget about the now in, in a way. You're sort of like, well, he's going to go. He's 35. You may as well use him while you've got him. Just at the top of the league, though, even if we're getting beat. But I don't want us to, We need to start winning. These away games, again, we're conceding goals left, right, and centre. I mean, McKenzie isn't doing anything for us here. Game over. I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> Six four. Jesus. It's a bit of a, a mixed a mixed bag here, isn't it really, when we're looking at it? On the one hand there's always an opportunity that we could go up, you know, but on the other hand there's just this worry of inconsistency throughout the team. And that's what Division 2 football is, really. He's got eight goals. He's all right. 
he's pleased to join such a successful club, which is good. I think we're going to play Port Vale here and let's see how we get on. Let's see if we can um, get a victory over these guys. Mm. <clears throat> Peterborough winning again. They seem to be the team to beat at the minute. and I go you know I think McKenzie played so poor that game I think the only way forward is to give someone else a go <coughs> there he is again a legend that is McPhee I thought that was Jamie Carragher then but it's Matt Carragher their captain oh, Madeira you beauty come on let's just batter these now that's what we need to do Oh my Christ! Great, just what we need when we lose a goal and injury. That, that's that's my. It's one of my pet hates about this game. I can't I can't stand it when they score a goal and straight away we get an injury. It just it's just like a double whammy. It just hits you like a ton of bricks. Come on. Gua Madeira, there we go. Tenth goal. Piss off. <clears throat> Lovely jubbly hat trick. Four. Go on. I'll take that all day. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Five three. A very good win. Madeira with four goals. He is just absolutely nailing it at the moment, isn't he? Um, second in the league. We've all played 10 now, so we've, we've kind of got an idea of where we are, where we're standing, and we're still in the top two when everyone has played 10 games. Um, obviously, there's only three points of a gap from the playoffs positions to the second place, which is which means there's nothing in it really at the moment. But uh, come back for episode four. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'll see you later.